family for whom any solutions would already be too late. Six and a half thousand families lost their homes through repossessions in the Midlands up to August. One lost theirs, although they were less than a thousand pounds in arrears. It's heartbreaking every, every, every time we every come, morning every we come, morning back, we come every to take the kids to school. Back. Like, I mean, you know, you just, it's just heartbreaking, isn't it? You to see past. it lying empty and we're living in a two-bedroom bed sit. This family gave away their pet dogs and put their furniture into storage before moving to the rented house they share with two other couples. They're acutely aware that it's costing the city more to keep a roof over their heads than it would have cost to stay. We should have been able to stay in that house, would have been able to give the children a Christmas, would have been able to save the dogs, we? Well, yeah, yeah, I mean... And, um, because at the end of the day, they're going to charge us for that in any way. And yet we're living here in, in the one room upstairs with the two mm -hmm. children sleeping together. Which I feel it is not fair in any way because Carl's now 13, Lisa is 10 and that, that's causing problems with them sleeping together. At first, before it was repossessed, I, I really went down. I used to cry and all, oh, please, you know, I just don't want to lose this. I can't put the, the children through it. At the end of the day, it was the children. We just felt such a failure of all what we had tried to do, all the money we put in, everything. Both parents are bitter at the way they were treated. The first time it actually went to court, I mean, I, I had to take sort of time off work because I, I was physically ill, like, you know, with sort of worry. A Worcester advice worker believes building societies are taking a tougher line with borrowers. To a family like this, they've lost years and years of hard work and, in, and input saving diligently. This couple saved, I think, £12,000 towards this house. A lot of money. Uh, I understand that last year, or Abbey National made record profits. I think, I think the experiences of Abbey National and of this couple don't tally. The Abbey National won't comment on an individual case, but say they have to take account of the ability of borrowers to repay arrears. Mark and LMEs intended to stay in their house for the rest of their lives. Now they face a bleak Christmas, certain New Year. Well, with us now is Michael Travis, who's chairman of the Association of Building Societies. How did the situation get so bad? Basically, um, the recession. <coughs>